In this video, we'll be speaking about some of the signs of illnesses or illness of goat. This is West Side Farm, the original goat. Hey guys, welcome to this another video at West Side Farm. Yes, in this video, we'll be speaking about some of the signs of illnesses or illness of goat. Some of the signs that goat shows when a goat is ill. Remember now guys, goats are herd animal. Can I own one goat? People always ask. Yes, but it is recommended that you have more than one goat because goat strive are, are reach it optimus best in a herd because naturally they are a herd animals. So having one goat, it probably will be here and make a lot of noise, won't feed as much as it because it's alone. Uh, you have a two goat now, it's a herd animal, you'll, get, you'll find out that that goat is converting the food much faster and also an improving growth rate because goat is a herd animal naturally. I bet you guys didn't know this or some people may know that <clears throat> within that herd you have a different hierarchy, right? Like you have the leading goat, middle class goat and the lower class herd because the, the, the herd has ranking and in the, let's say for instance a mother goat is a leading herd goat once she kid or have a kid automatically that kid is, is at a high rank compared to the rest of goats within the herd so remember that guy that herd, herd a goat is a herd goat and they also have ranking so you will find out that most of the time the most dominant goats are the goats that is the head goats or the higher hierarchy goats that is leading the herd. So back to the topic now guys as we are talking about, it's just a brain teaser, back to the topic of illnesses. Some of the signs you can see when a goat is ill or sick. Remember it's through observation because the animal cannot speak to him. Take for instance, I'm grazing, if I'm a grazer, let out the herd. And I realized that one of the goats are dropping back, not sticking with the herd, right? While the herd is grazing, that goat stands still. Those are signs of sicknesses. Because as low as the ranking, goat, the goat in the rank will be, he tends to stick with the herd as they move along. So you won't have goat moving and leaving goat behind. They move together as a herd. So if you find a single goat is lingering in the back and lingering and isolating itself, that's a sign of sickness. So you need to pay keen attention to that goat or call a vet to come and do some observation or checks on that goat. Also when the goat is feeding, unlike human beings, when, when a goat is ill or an animal per se is sick or ill, that animal first choice is to stop eat or stop feed. So once you have an animal or a goat and you realize you put the feed in before him and the goat stop feed, something is wrong with that goat. That's the first sign. Once an animal is sick, he's, 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 he don't have any appetite, he's not going to eat nothing. He just stay in a corner by itself and that's a sign that the animal needs some medical or needs some assistance. A third thing to look for also is a swollen midsection otherwise known as the stomach you will see like the stomach is it's often bloated when you see this the, the stomach is swell and it is stiff like a, and sounding like a basketball when you hit it that's a sign of bloatedness the goat will not feed or perhaps some of the goats sometimes wouldn't even pass feces when they are bloated right what what can you use to Stop. What I use to treat bloatedness is our commonly known diker. People say they use warm baking soda. I don't know. I use diker as to prove um, when my goat is bloated and it helps. Right? So that's our some of the signs to look for. You can also, if you, if you realize a goat is, is laying down. Every minute the goat is laying down and in one position and it's shivering, you know that's a sign of sickness also. So you're probably going to need some medical um, attention or assistance from a vet. 
So remember guys, you have to pay keen attention and look at your animal as you enter into your farm or your graze your animals. You look and identify the various signs and animals. A very common thing that people tend to don't see, like when a goat tail or a goat is infected, he tend to fan his tail a lot. Not like when he's going in it, he tend to fan his tail a lot and be a lot fidgety, you see moving the foot or stamping the foot. That's a, like, that's a sign to show that flies are is affecting the goat or the goat have an infestation of maggot. So all of this is through observation. And remember guys, you can know how each individual animal operates once you get to know the herd. Because for instance, I come into my pen, once it's feeding time, everybody will be up, jumping up on the board, looking at me and making noise. If I see a goat lay down or stand to itself in the corner, I know that something is wrong with that goat. So do remember guys, don't feel free, be free, feel free to comment and ask any questions. Also, continue to share and subscribe. This is Westside Farm. Bless.